Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We have something incredible today. This uh, freeing um, New Jersey bunny figure. It's quite possibly, I, I think it's undoubtedly their biggest uh, bunny. Uh, in, in terms of the design, the box is ginormous. I know Ami Ami has to uh, use like a special box to uh, ship it. Um, and for that reason, I'm not filming in the usual, um, what is it, usual um, area. I'm filming in this somewhere else where I can actually put it on because my table is way too small. Um, this bunny, this box, gigantic. Uh, okay. I, I don't even know what to say. This thing is huge. I actually got this off a local seller um, uh, on my figure. He's doing local pickup. He got this from Ami Ami, but he realized the giant size of this thing. I think it's. I think the estimate from what I've seen is um, 19 pounds, which is actually insane. I initially pre-ordered this and I canceled because I saw the all the bases it had too many bases and I'm like oh crap I don't want these uh whoops these unnecessary bases but uh, FOMO got me again after seeing okay how the heck did I even get this thing out that's the question So hopefully there's no issues. Ooh. Look, there's like three boxes stacked on each other. I can't. Where I'm gonna be storing this. One instruction sheet, pretty basic. Oh, that's a whole workout getting that thing out. Okay, let's get it. How the heck did I get this out now? Okay. okay. Holy crap. Taking a little break. Okay. This set is so big. And she's so pricey, especially. I know uh, Apex is also selling the wedding dress version. I'm thinking about picking that one up as well. Uh, she is a golden character. I love her design, I love her personality. Her skins are all fantastic. I have her oaf in the game. She's one of my favorite ships. PvP and PvE goddess. Oh, I'm missing this piece, piece of tape. Okay. That's the first one. First layer. Oh, her hair, that's why it's so heavy. Okay, let's put this aside. Yeah, my table would not be able to fit this. So, this is her. Just her. Oh. And her plastic. No hair, nothing, nada. Okay. There's tape on this this particular piece of blister. Oh, there are. No wonder. Yeah. This by itself would be a pretty big figure. Just just her, without the hair, without the bases.
another classic smell. You see anything? A new classic smell. Hold up. How do I get this off? Looks like her arm is, her elbow is taped. I think they learned because I know some of their figures came up with uh, issues on the elbows, the joints, and uh, especially if they're like doing a pose because that, that arm tends to collide with the uh, blister and then if you do that multiple times it's, it just snaps. So I don't want to scratch it but I also want to get it out. Huh. Interesting. How the heck did they get this in? That's the question. Okay, I see it. Let's leave her lying for a bit while we do this. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let me hold her up. Hopefully you guys can see. Here she is, in all her gloriousness. Let me darken the scene so you can see her better. Face, legs. Arms. Eyes, fishnet. Obviously, she would be posing like this, but right now we have the placeholder stuff. Whew. Okay, looks fine. Her face looks fine. Let me adjust my camera settings. Okay, there we go. Face looks fine. I love her. Mm. You know, her little uh, mouth. Hair looks good. She has those little antenna things. I'm not sure if that's a placeholder or anything. Right now, let's leave her aside. Oh, okay, I see. Let's not leave her aside yet. But she has her tail with the um, anchor. Oh, I know what those are. Those are indeed placeholders. The little plastic things. They're placeholder for her little weird hair. Oh, hey, gay. Do you pronounce it? Oh, gay. Such a. Okay, so there is a little attention to detail. Kind of unexpected from uh, freeing. <laughs> no shade, no shade, but. They are not known for their detail, or known for their, um... Okay. Get those and put them in there so we don't lose these placeholder pieces in case we want to move or sell it. Okay. Oops. I don't know where, which one goes to where. I imagine either works. Okay, one. Oh, this one's kind of loose. Maybe it's on the other side. Let me try the other one. So, yeah, this is kind of weird. This one up. This is probably it. I like the attention to detail. I really don't like the execution. It's a little plastic cheap. Ah, it's like that. I see. It's a little cheap because you're drilling holes into the hair head. But yeah, I feel like if you, she just sculpted normally, this would be fine. I did see a little imperfection on the sculpting. So you look at her. Uh, let's see if I can focus. The lighting is not the best. Let me zoom in. 
I'm sure you guys can see that. But there is a little let me change turn up my eyes turn down my eyes there is a little yeah right there in the middle there's a little dot a little imperfection on her breast kind of for this price we shouldn't have issues like that but you know how freeing is Okay, but that's not a big major issue. I would not consider that a major issue. I'm more uh, concerned with uh, breaks and uh, molding issues. Minor paint stuff like that, maybe not. But that, it's not worth the hassle. Okay, uh, her little tail needs to be taken out placeholder for it. Let's close this. I shouldn't put it in there so I don't lose it. Okay. So this, I'll put this on later because I think we need the base first. This thing is pretty heavy. The base for the um, bowl. This thing is actually really heavy. Okay, let's leave her. I'm gonna leave her on the side while I Clean up this oh, crap. So far, one imperfection. Five hundred dollar figure, five hundred dollar plus, even up to like eight hundred on certain sites. And this is the kind of you see they get get away with I'm, I'm kind of disappointed okay let's get the rest oops my bad okay let's get the next pieces I don't know what's in this one okay. probably the hair or in the bases. I think that's the main weight. They're really, I hope there's no impression with the hair. That's going to be this point if that's uh, anything seen. That's a uh, one of the big breakers for me. And that's also a major um, source of imperfections from my experience with playing. I actually don't know who's uh, uh, Fring is the manufacturer, I don't know who um, is responsible for uh, uh, production and distribution, I mean actually. I know usually uh, Good Smile is responsible, but uh, I think for some of the other ads for Lane Bunnies, I think it's a like Union Creative or something. I'm not sure exactly. Periscope. Oh my god, there's so much shape for this. It's actually insane. It's actually insane. Okay. Let me get my knife. Where did I put that thing? Interesting to say the release. I feel like the paint is not the best so far. Uh, let me get it all off first and then I'll show you guys what I mean. Ooh, the sculpting here is weird. 
And these pieces are usually prone to break. Sort of a nightmare. You know what? But no major imperfections, just minor critiques um, with the design. Imperfection is anything that's not per design. Stay so really um, what things I would consider are like uh, paint transfer, anything in the manufacturing process. Design is a different story. Design means it's intentional. And these are issues that, that you can't really fix if it comes with the figure. So, it's over here. So, this is the hair piece. You see, uh, I don't like how the, the, the shading doesn't transition seamlessly. Some of the areas are like darker blue and lighter blue. Because here at the end, it's uh, lighter blue. But I don't know how to explain it. It's like, because it's like not the gradient between these is not like um, seamless. That's the major complaints. Um, so far, that's it. And then there's weird sculpting stuff like here. You guys can see it right here, where it's bent weirdly, like right here too. Not the best looking, not the worst, not the best. It's just minor critiques. Because you're spending five, if you're spending five hundred dollars, you're expecting top of the line stuff. Especially if you're doing free, free charges outrageous prices, and sometimes their designs are not the best. That's how it is. If I'm being brutally honest, that's just how I uh, feel about the products, especially in the last few years. Oh, where's my knife? I need to get this base out, and then we can start assembling. I'm probably gonna use a singular base because I don't wanna. I don't have enough room for this, this other bases, and they're uh, really not necessary. I think they're mainly for um, balancing her hair. Because her hair is like crazy. The sculpting is. Kind of insane for this piece. Mm, insanely complex, not not insanely good necessarily, as I pointed out earlier. Those are minor stuff that we saw with the um, weird shapes of the hair. Probably going to be one of my most expensive figures. Not necessarily the most expensive in aftermarket, at least yet, but retail is the most expensive. I have a couple rare rare figures that have similar values or um, what is it? Or some bust that I have as well that's similarly priced at least on the aftermarket but up to pay up front this is probably one of the most expensive purchases I've made not the most but one of the most I think I paid the aftermarket price for the, the Madokas and there are probably more if you factor in the uh, what is it shipping taxes all those super fees Okay, so she comes with this one base, pretty standard. Not actually, this is surprisingly small. This is not the biggest base I've seen. Their recent stuff, uh, like with the uh, X10, bigger. Uh, who else is pretty big? Um, what's her name? Uh, what is it from Dragon Maid? She's pretty big. Um, the shared base between. Um, I'm trying to remember her name. The Pochi um, design uh, characters, um, Mamako and Chiyo, they're pretty uh, big. Their ind individual ones are pretty big as well, but their combined is pretty big. And she has one, two, and three additional bases. I think these are optionals. I see some people displaying without them. I'm gonna lean towards that path. So I'm gonna put these back in. 
I'm just gonna use the big base. Yeah. Um, not the worst looking base. I remember in the, a lot of the prototypes they have the clear bases, but dark base is not bad. Especially uh, her bunny suit is a little dark. So, not the worst looking. Let's put in the pole. Let's put in the pole. Okay. This thing is actual metal. Okay. Let's put in her character. Oh. Maybe I need. Let me check. Uh, the, uh, consult the uh, the uh, was it instruction set? I feel like she's supposed to be holding the pole, and she yes she is. Oh, oops, that could be dangerous. Yep, probably that's why they uh, have multiple bases because she's not balanced completely. Okay, this is now. Now we're gonna play the hard game, which is getting her into her uh, her her, um, her leg into her um, what is it? The pegs. Can't speak today. Kind of out of breath. Whew. Let's see. Oh, let me zoom out. Okay. 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 This thing is harder than it looks. Cause the her leg is a little unbalanced, or not unbalanced. It's a little located uh, way apart from the, the actual. Okay. Thinking it would be easier if I do the pull after. Just get her legs in. Yeah, that might be the smarter idea. Okay. Oh, a little detail on below her uh, boots. Let me show you guys. The soles are designed. So, okay, not bad. These, uh, the white part is not movable. Unlike some. Some of them are movable and some other bunnies. Some other bunnies don't have it movable. Well, her bunny ear fell out. But let's get her into her her base first. Or her pegs first. This thing's a little hard. Holy crap. I don't want to break anything, but sometimes you have to use a little force. Apply a little force. sure why this is not a uncommon thing with freeing how there are some of, some other bunnies have pegs that's hard to get in it's actually stupid that's insane <laughs> Who actually designed this? Looks like uh, it's not fully carved out. I can't, I don't know how to explain it. Oh, there we go, my bad. I am an idiot. Maybe the angle I came at was weird. Okay, let's get her fully in. I wish I had a harder surface. So I can push her down more easily. She's mostly in. Oh. Okay. Put her on her floor first. Oops, sorry guys. Okay. Off screen to push her on the floor. 
There we go. That's much needed. Probably need to clean my uh, fingerprints from the base. Smudges. Wipe it down so that it looks nicer. Now the hard part is getting her all in. Whew. So then the workout just to get this in and out. easier to put it in this way. It sort of grinds against her ass. Okay, I did not get the bunny ear completely in, that's why I probably it fell out. Let's get her tail. She's a little, uh, the center of her mass is kind of unbalanced on this one, uh, uh, I'll be honest. That's one other critique. Center of mass is not the best. So probably that's why she needed multiple bases. How do I get this thing in? Yeah, I have it correct. There we go. Yeah. It's very obvious that she has a clear... S oh. Get her hair... Second hair piece up. This is a very... Um, she has a center of mass that is... Leaning towards the end near the pole. Let's get this piece out of her hair. Okay. Hopefully this. Okay. There we go. Holy. So yeah, you don't really need the base. It's just the hair is all over the place. And she has a little lean. Let me move my camera. Yeah, let's get it. Overall, I would say her design is pretty. Mine is that one imperfection on her left breast. At least on mine. Um, other complaints are with the minor stuff with the sculpting. The base is fine. I just wish they uh, came with a better idea within three separate bases. The blending between the gradients of the light blue to or from the dark blue it may not be the best. But other than that, she's really pretty. At least I don't I didn't experience any major imperfections this time. That's common with uh freeing stuff. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Tune in to another video. I will be posting a lot of pictures of this. I want to capture her very well. So tune into those.